much for the opportunity to address the committee today. Uh, I'm here with about 25 plus years of uh, business experience and uh, financial statements and uh, preparing budgets. Admittedly, the, the budgets here have a lot more zeros, but the principles of finance remain the same. Um, there are two key points that I want to share with the committee this morning. The first is the severity of our fiscal situation, the risk that it poses to the Republic, and second, to address briefly uh, the peril of sequestration. Uh, I'll come to that in just a moment. Now, with respect to where we are, I often hear, as I suppose my colleagues do, that uh, what's taking place here is not fair to our children and grandchildren. That does not, to me, capture the, the, the severity of our situation, nor does it capture the timeline uh, that I think this nation will experience uh, uh, just a potentially catastrophic fiscal pressure. Uh, it's not simply our grandchildren or our children. It has to be moved up two generations to each one of us here today. Um, it requires bold leadership on the part of this party and uh, this, this committee, rather. And I'm proud of the work that was done last year by this committee. Uh, I voted for a budget that, uh, albeit uh, over a 24-year period, it did bring America to a sense of uh, fiscal discipline. And uh, I hold this view that uh, it truly is an egregious uh, failure of leadership by the administration to not put forth a comprehensive plan that would set this country on a better fiscal path. Uh, the, the, the plan that was passed by the House, certainly could it be improved? Yes, I'm sure of that. But if you put that plan right there and you ask where the administration's plan is, there is nothing there to compare it to, nothing comprehensive. And the President, in my view, has failed the American people in that respect. Uh, expenses are driving, uh, they're the principal driver of our, our situation here, uh, but also, and I'll, I'll be a, one of the first Republicans, I suppose, or among others, to say that revenues must increase. Revenues must increase and do that through the growing of our economy, particularly energy independence, and uh, the bill that I have to move this forward, um, energy independence using coastal energy right off the coast of Virginia. I hope it moves forward. This represents a significant step, and there are other bills in the Senate right now of the United States that have passed would help us grow our economy and increase tax revenues, which must be done. And then another principal way that I think we could, uh, uh, in a wise way, increase revenue would be to strategically go in and eliminate uh, what are clearly lobbyist written, lobbyist inspired loopholes. Now, in the short time that I have left, I just want to point out to you as a as a member of the House Armed Services Committee, I have the great privilege of representing the good folks of the 2nd District of Virginia. What is coming at us in sequestration is nothing less than a violent, unwise, unconscionable, uh, 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 sharp direction turn for the Department of Defense. They cannot possibly adjust to this level of, uh, of a hatchet-type funding to the Department of Defense. The budget as it is, um, even though it's been tightened, I, I think the service chiefs, chiefs can work through that. Um, it reluctantly is something that I can work through, never fully accept, but work through. But what is coming at us, and I trust that every member of the committee here today and, and, uh, and really the entire House of Representatives would pause to fully understand the full ramifications of sequestration. It is not a wise path for this country, and I urge the committee members uh, to oppose it, to find alternatives to it. And in closing, Mr. Chairman, um, this is truly, without hyperbole, a defining moment in our country. We must make wise decisions. The window for doing this is running out. At some point, um, the borrower becomes the lender slave. So I, uh, I encourage my colleagues, uh, both sides, to be bold in your decisions, to be bold in your, uh, the budget that you put, for us, put forth for us to consider. The American people are ready. They are desperate for the truth. They're desperate for solutions. And uh, they're ready for leadership. And with respect to the budget, that begins here. 
Thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Thank you for your testimony today. We appreciate it. The gentleman yields back. We'll take a pause now. As